let me talk about how to niche down. So how to actually get in a niche where you can dominate. Now, before I, do, I actually tell you this, let me just tell you, I've, I'm not the best at this for myself. I have so much trouble doing it for myself, but as a result of that, I've thought a lot about it and um, I'm, I'm consistently thinking about it. I think I can deliver some real value to you today. So what I've been thinking about is I've been I've been reading these books about niching and how to structure, and I think it's never been never been more important. But some people think oh, niching means that you're yeah, that you're limiting yourself. And and I've sort of had this fear as I've gone through the, the thinking process of this as well. But then I started to I started to look at if we look at Facebook, they were not what they were today. Initially they niched into into like university campuses. That's where they niched into. If we look at somewhere like Nike, initially I'm reading their book his book now, Phil Knight, Shoe Dog. And initially they were they were niched more into you know runners and athletes and sports people. That was that was really their focus and their and their niche. And then we've got com- a company like Amazon. Amazon initially niched into books. That's where they got. They're not into books now. So what what I think that niching allows you to do when you've got limited resources, it allows you to go in and dominate an area and get momentum, and then you can expand later. Uh, so 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 just something to think about. Think about today is what's a niche that you could dominate? Because the other thing I've seen recently in terms of in terms of niching. Uh, and uh, is is we is we can think of it like a tree. So, for example, you might have let's say the digital marketing industry. You've got digital marketing as a whole. You've got Facebook ads. You've got Google ads. You've got uh, you know, you've got the, the uh, content marketing. You've got so, so there's, there's literally probably 30, 40 different 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 leaves, and there's sub branches sub branches of that. So you may decide that you're going to niche. You're going to niche in one, or you're going to niche in a group, or or whatever. The same with accounting. It would have all of these different, all of these different sub niches. Now, there's no set way that you should necessarily necessarily niche in that in that space. But what I would just encourage you to think about in this process is maybe I can start with a smaller niche and then expand out. From there, as I you know, as I grow, just like Facebook did, just like Amazon did, and just like Nike did. So again, no expert at this. I'm 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 terrible at this. In many ways, I'm unqualified to give you this advice because while I can often see it for others, I have trouble seeing it for myself. Um, but that's an insight that I have gained uh, over thinking about that uh, this over the next over the last couple of weeks. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, If you've got any questions about what I've shared, please leave it below. And if you'd like me to share anything else, please let me know in the comments box below.